Greetings everyone, Arton here. Welcome to this tutorial where I'll be sharing 10 lesser known Unity tips with you. So whether you're an uh, experienced developer or just like a beginner or something, uh, doesn't matter. I believe that you're gonna make use of these uh, tips in your uh, gaming development, simulation development or whatever you're developing with Unity. Uh, they're gonna be useful for you. So yeah, let's dive right in. The first tip is about enums. Let's say that you have an enum called player state with idle setting, walking, running items, you know. And let's say that you're already using that enum in one of your mono behavior classes, which is attached to an object. As you normally would do, you can just choose one of the uh, items from enum and just go your way, right? But let's say that in our case, we want to use multiple objects. So for that, we are adding system.flags, right? This attribute will enable us to choose multiple items from an enum and it will also add nothing and everything options to our enum to be selected from inspector. But also it will treat our enum as a bit mask. So we need to identify our enum items as powers of two, just like shown here, one, two, four, eight, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the second uh, tip is also about enums. So if we go and select one of the enums, let's say it's setting in this case, write inspector name and write player is setting. Oops. Once we write that, the name of the setting in the inspector will be changed to that. But in your code, you, you will still continue using this setting. So let's go to the inspector and yeah, it's changed. The third tip is about undo history. If you move your mouse here, you will see a button called undo history. Once you click that, it will open a small window showing every action that you have taken in Unity since you opened that instance. So as you can see that I've created lots of, you know, objects. I've created a game object and created stuff, pasted cubes, blah, blah, blah. And again, I've just like played with enums and then created cubes again. But once I click one of the objects, it will take me to that state so I can undo my stuff. I can also use Control Z as well or Control Y to go through or I can just click them to go to that state in my history. The fourth tip is about organizing your scene. If you have lots of objects in your scene and you want to, you know, parent them to a new single object, don't just go and create a new object. Uh, just choose the objects that you want to clear and press Control Shift and G and new object here. You're welcome. The fifth tip is about focus. So let's say that you want to hide and unhide easily. You can use, you know, the H button, you know, to do that. But if you want to focus, just press shift H. As you can see, it will hide everything but the selected object. The sixth tip is about writing your debug log errors. Let's say that you have a condition that you would love to be warned about and you're usually writing like, you know, if condition and then writing your debug log errors and stuff. But there's a better way to do this. So if you write debug and assert and then write temp is bigger than five, warn me here, right? So let's just delete this, press play, yeah, you can see that it's thrown the error. Remember that it will only work whenever this condition fails. The seventh tip is about collisions. So if you have an object that you know uh, that's going to be colliding with other objects and you would love to, let's say, uh, spawn a particle where it's contacting with the other objects, you are going to need to use on collision enter. So in the on collision enter, you'll need to other dot contacts and let's say to get the first contact point and let's make it written in the console right contact points or point let's paste this guy start these guys are not using the gravity but they have rigid bodies attached so let's hit them see nice the eighth tip is about uh, randomization in your scene. So if you have lots of objects just like I do right now and you know that it's like they're looking very much in order to the eye and you want to add some randomization to it. To do that you would have to go to rotation y write capital R parenthesis 0 comma 360 and enter. As you can see the unity is going to give a randomized position to each unique objects in your scene. The ninth tip is about convenience. So if you want to create your objects always at the origin, there's actually a way to do that. So if you go edit preferences and scene weave here and check the create objects at origin, from now on, all the objects that you create will be created at origin. 
The last tip is about knowing where you're actually updating your variables from. So if I go press play, you will see that this guy is always being updated, right? But I want to know if I'm just editing anything manually from the inspector, right? If I want to do that, I would have to go here and add on validate method. And let's write here, validate, right? So you will see that it's going to be called once at the start, right? But it's not going to be called again, even though the script is actually updating the variable. But if I go and update it myself, update anything in this mono behavior, it's going to call this method. So if you want to warn the developer to not to change the variable from the you know inspector or anything, or if you want to make sure that value is between some dynamic values, you can actually call some methods here or stuff like that. So the onValidate method is always useful for that reason. Reason. Okay, that was the last tip guys. Thank you for uh, watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you like. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.